it is good to see you, creator. We are going to review a super cool website that is an animated handwriting generator. All you have to do is type the text in the field, hit the button, and cursive reveals itself in an animation. It is super cool, and the best part is you can do it live during your OBS live stream. Let's get some! Okay, first thing I'll do is show you where to go to the website and how to use the application. Then we'll bring the application into OBS Studio. I'll show you how to extract the background so that you can make it a transparency. And then I'll show you how to apply filters to change the color of the text to whatever you want. Simple and easy. Okay, let's get to the website. The URL that you want to look at here is C-A-L-L-I g-r-a-p-h-e-r dot a-i i guess that means artificial intelligence the name of the website is calligrapher it's a white page you'll have four parameters in the upper right hand corner and if you look at the bottom you'll see a enter text here so i'll type my name right scott victor i'll click the right button in the lower right hand corner and boom you've, you've got, got animated, animated text. text really cool now you can change the speed with this parameter here, this slider, so if it goes to the far left and you hit right, it goes real slow. And if you go to the far right, obviously it goes super fast. I think that you'd probably want to see the animation, so putting the speed at sort of halfway or a little bit slower would probably be your best bet. Legibility. This is pretty cool, too. If you move it to the far right and hit right, the handwritten algorithm kind of makes the text a little bit harder to read but it comes off being more human in a way so that's certainly something that you can experiment with and then they have something called stroke width so if you take the cursor to the far right it makes the line a little bit thicker see how it automatically changed right there on the far left it gets super thin i think for most cases you're going to want to go with a stroke that has a wider thickness because it's easier to see and that's really important. And finally, the pull down on the far right is a set of different fonts that you can use to, to animate. You have seven different types. Or I'm sorry, that's not true. We have nine that we can work with. If you leave it at the dash at the top, every time you click the right button, it goes and chooses a different font so that you can sort of let the system create all the different animations using each font so that you can kind of experiment and choose what you like best. Again, you want to have it look like handwritten language, but at the same time, you want it to be readable. So, you know, make sure that you make the right choice so that people can still read the actual text itself. Okay, let's bring this into OBS Studio. I'll show you how to extract the background out of this thing, and then we'll change the color to the text. Here we go. Let's pop over there now. Here we go. Okay, here we are in OBS, and I'm going to show you the breakdown to extract the background out of this thing and change it to any color you want, okay? And this is pretty cool because OBS allows you to apply a chroma key, and then upon you removing the background, you can apply a, another filter to change the color of it. OBS was made by geniuses. There's no doubt in my mind. Okay, check this out. Okay, first thing is first, hit the cl uh, plus sign in Sources and select Window Capture. Hit OK. Then in the Window pull-down, select your browser that's showing the, the Calligrapher.ai website browser. In this case, it's my Brave browser. And it brings it right into OBS. Hit OK. And here it is in my OBS program. And the first thing you need to do is hit your Alt key and take the handles on the top and bottom and scroll down so that you don't see any of the stuff top and bottom. Okay. There, so it's just a white screen with black text. Cool. Now the next step is to make some changes to the white. For some reason, OBS has trouble extracting white color. So we're going to change it to another color and then extract it. I know it sounds crazy. Watch this. Right click on Window Capture, hit Filters, and select the plus sign and select Color Correction. Hit OK. And do the following. First, select the color yellow. Hit OK. Changes the whole thing to yellow. You can't see any text. It's not a problem. Take your gamma. Go all the way left with it. Contrast should stay in the middle. Brightness should all be backed all the way back down. Now you can see the Bob Green show up. Saturation should be in the middle. Hue shift should be also in the middle. And opacity is also, also full right. Hit close. Now we're going to go back in, right click on the Windows Capture, hit Filters again, 
hit the plus sign, and now we're going to extract it. So we're going to select chroma key, hit OK, and we're going to go into the color key color type, hit custom, and select yellow. Hit OK. Now, let's see. Let's take the similarity and move that all the way to the far left. And let's see. We'll move that smoothness up just a tad, about right there. And everything else looks solid. Don't worry about the funky yellow on the edges. That'll be absolutely okay. Hit the plus sign one more time because now we're going to change it, that black, to another color. So we'll hit the plus sign, go back into color correction again. Hit OK. And now we can select a color. So in this case, I'll select this really bright green. And boom, look what it does to that. And the settings look perfect. I'll hit close. And as you can see, what do you think? You change it to any color you want. It's a beautiful thing. Look at that. Let me get my cursor out of there. So there you go. That is sweet. Look at that, man. And we're doing this live. All right. Now, as an extra bonus, what you could do is open up a different browser, like, say, Fireworks. Oh, no way. I meant to say Firefox, not Fireworks. Oh, boy or Edge, other than the one showing the animated handwritten text, right? And go to a URL called Lingo Jam. Jam. I'll put a link in the description. They offer a robotic voice text-to-speech making application, and you can add that voice to the scrolling handwritten text as it appears in the screen. It is wicked cool. It'll create more engagement for your live stream, especially during a countdown script before the show starts. The people will not leave because they're going to want to see their name in print with this voice being played over the animated text. Here's an OBS Studio demonstration to show you what it could look like at your live stream. What's up, Joe? It's good to see you. Hi, Nancy. It's been too long. How have you been? Yes, I hope you enjoyed that demonstration. For those who don't know who I am, just think of me as a video, video software, software technology, technology explorer. explorer. I'm always out on the prowl to find all the cool programs to make your videos super cool and more engaging for your viewers. If you like what you hear, subscribe and click the bell for a new video notification every single week. Now, if you're interested, I've got another video coming up. It's going to summarize where to go to find killer 1080p animated graphics for your backgrounds. This is not Pixabay. This is a brand new source, and you're going to absolutely love these graphics. They are unbelievable. And I'm going to show you a website that provides rolling dice that are completely randomized and a flip of a coin that will go from yes to no or true or false. And you can use this for gaming inside your OBS live streams. Just click this link right here, and I will catch you over there right now. Best wishes, stay, stay strong, strong, and keep, keep fighting. fighting. Yeah, get some.